Let's go over this Collins title example using a slightly different approach. The same calculations, a slightly different model in Excel. We're going to use two different calculations, one for the current method where I'll measure the uh, outputs, which is eight titles per day, and the inputs, which are 32 labor hours per day, which is 8 times 4. They have 4 people working for them. They work 8 hours a day. 8 times 4 is 32. This is given. Uh, normally I would calculate that. And then I'll calculate the labor productivity. And this is not equal to 8 divided by 32 in that way, even though that's the right answer. If I change this to 5, it doesn't change this. So I want the calculation to be that cell divided by this cell. And that gives me 0.25 uh, titles per labor hour. And the days cancel out. Now they're thinking about going to a, a new um, method that may give them an output of 14 titles per day. And the inputs are still the same, and so I think I'll just say that it's equal to 32. We're not changing. We're comparing only the, the difference in the number of titles produced per day. And I think I'll just copy these down. These dimensions are the same. The new labor productivity is equal to the output divided by the input. There's only one input. So there's a difference. There's an increase in labor productivity, which makes sense. So you use some common sense there. It should be bigger. What's the percent change? Well, it's the new labor productivity divided by the old labor productivity minus one. This is the formula of new minus old divided by old, or this is an alternative way to express it. So it's a 75% increase in labor productivity by going from eight to 14 titles per day in the same amount of time. So maybe this is clearer to you. I hope it is.